This is Victor from Manifest and Royalty Studios. We're here today uh, creating a project. So uh, what we are having in plan today is creating a beat. Um, particular beat that we are going for is something a little bit more faster tempo. Um, still probably in like the rap, rap genre. And yeah, you know, that's kind of what we're going to go for. Uh, it's also the mood of it, you know, it's more of a, we're going to try to go in for like a more darker side of it, um, and giving it just a little bit more punch. So that is our objective for it. Uh, the other thing is, if you guys have not followed, subscribed, please join us. Um, make sure you hit subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, TikTok. We're on YouTube as well. So please make sure that you are following us and notified when we are jumping on live. Because on Thursdays, we also have Thursday Tunes. where We have a variety of artists allowing us to play their music and having them out there playing for you guys to be able to listen. And for artists just to be able to get their music out there as well. So that is the main objective for us is to get that out there for everyone um, so let's get started so like I've told you guys before um, try to always set your project up you know that's the main thing and huge priority so I got this one I'm trying to just go random threw it out a 98 BPM and I am gonna go for a B minor so that is what I am shooting for and keeping that in key Let's this back and I'm gonna put a loop for eight bars and that is what I'm gonna be working off of so let's see if we can just get first figure out finding the sound that we like and going off of that And if you guys have never used battery before, you are able to obviously play whatever sound you hear and create that um, using whatever, like say for instance, I want to use that snare, or excuse me, use a different snare, but use these kicks. You know, I'm able to do that by two ways. One, well, three actually, making my own template, putting these specific sounds on my own um, pad template. Another way is to use a couple different instruments with the battery port inserted. And then the other is just replacing the sound, honestly. So don't feel like you're just trapped whatever those templates are. You, you're, you're able to maneuver around with it and make it to your custom way. There is so many kits on here. Right now, I'm just going. It's more of right now, trying to find a snare sound that I like. Wow. 
little delay and reverb on that. And I can tune that down. <coughs> Excuse me. If I wanted to, I could go in and adjust that, but I'm trying to find it. Lose that delay there. That sounds nice, but. This is probably the trickiest part as one of the producers. People think like, oh, you know, they just go and start throwing on beats. You know, so I guess you might find one and immediately and be like, yeah, this is the kit that I'm using and go for it. And other times, this is what we said behind doing. Try to go with it. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's been feeling pretty dry. So. Let's get a sec. Going double tune. So let me see if they give me buttons here. So on a double time, for anybody that doesn't know, double time you are basically making what your typical one bar would be making it equal a two bar so for instance if your snare your height your excuse me your kick and snare is always at one your kick being at one and three and your snare being at two and four in double time your kick is always going to be at one at bar one or not, excuse me not bar one at beat one your snare is always going to be at beat three so it's just hitting all the time 
at those points. So that is what double time is. So this is what we also hear though on um, on a metronome. Don't want to quantize. I, I don't want to quantize this for the fact that if I quantize it, make it very robotic, very unhumanized. So having that, it's there's a little bit of space between the actual beat where it's supposed to hit exact. It sounds more natural. Also, don't want to be too far out. Then it's gonna sound like I'm out of time. Basically, changing the pitch. That's basically what we're doing. Here. my difficulties things is I'll be fine in my head and all of a sudden I get distracted in my head it's one of the hardest things so if that's you make sure you count it if you need to don't be afraid to do that Slight. So 
So we can go in here. Change this to eights because this is technically eights. So we're going to copy some now. I don't mind right now for the MIDI velocity being that some on the end are a lot softer. Logic has a awesome tool you can it's like midi transform and you can go in there and you can make a random velocity and change a certain rate or certain um, uh, parameters that you would want that way it, it has it just so you don't have to go in there manually and be changing now you can do it manually if you prefer but midi transform is also really 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 handy Alright, so Still sustaining that sodium. Changing that does. There's also little tabs here that change it to your modulation, tune effect, there's effects, setups. There's different other things that come into play. So, understanding how it is set up is a huge important thing for when it comes to creating this. That way, I'm gonna change it up.
that shit. Yeah, that shit. Don't accidentally hit the M button, because it will mute. So these I want to try to have them in absolute volume. Figure out where exactly I know I want it. All right, that sounds good. But I'm going to move in that. Close my end part. Bring this up forward. Bring these together and then modify. Because I want this. So this is typically, this is basically a four bar loop and I got it. I think in my head it sounds so just now so boring. So, so that's fine there. I will change.
Supposed to So the other thing is I can also make this loop just kind of be similar. So making eight bars have its own, having it sound so different. It's sometimes a key thing to not keeping the listener just feeling like everything's on repeat. And they already start to know what the next type of sound. Kind of keep them going back and forth, trying to guess it and enjoying something new. So it catches their ear. Um, so here I'm going to try to play with it and give us, remember like about the first two bars are going to be about the same. The next bar, its own little thing. That's how I normally do it. But I'm going to make this. Would it be this intricate part? Here's what I want to do. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep the style.
That's what we're going to do with that. So this leads to that. This one is going to have the same pattern as this other one. Join these together. So once it's all complete, then we get a better idea of what this is gonna sound like. Alright. Okay. And then there's that one. Nothing's like a too snare there. We'll just go into the other part real quick with that. This one here. not fitting where I would like it to. And the other thing is with this actual snare I would want it more snappy and quick in and out. That's not giving me what I want. So that also makes a huge difference. Literally just trying to get some where I want it to in my head. Once it starts playing a certain way, I'm trying to like force with that.
So basically what this is, I'm double tuning this basically on eight bars or less, turning it to this little sound bar. hi-hats stretch this out for my tools for my secondary tool which is usually controlled by command which is scissors if I option hold option and the command I just put it where I want to cut I'll snap them out where I need it so that same division amount That whole sound is wow. I am not liking. So I'm gonna separate these already in their own little tracks. Turn this mixer. I'm gonna bring this down. Pathetic there, and then I can Snare, closed hi hat. Both of these I'm going to be changing. But before I do that, J to join them. Command four. Command A highlights everything. But then this is only going to be the snare, so shift, click, the one I don't want high, whoops, the one I don't want, so to get affected, shift command, or excuse me, shift click on the snare, delete, deletes the hi-hat, 
can go to the hi-hat section here on this region. We don't want the hi-hat to be affected, so shift, click, delete. Now, let's find it here, let's snare this. I want to go in reverse. Definitely not that one. some chords that play here too. Changing that tone. Like something like this so far. Not like that. We figured out which one we wanted. We got we have to come in here and we got to transpose. Well, not basically trans. We gotta sh move this. Not find this nice. Two octaves down. Shift option. Shift option down twice. Oh, 
Out. It also to pick up where certain pieces doesn't sound correct. And that's a huge important thing. You have to listen to what you're also making because it might sound good until you get really proficient with it. And everything just sounds good. with the C percent. Before we end this, we're about to be ending here shortly. Last part something with the snare and kick just doesn't add up. Let's just do this real quick. Feels like this kick coming in is way too.
vamos ver. Vamos ver aqui. So it's hitting pretty much what I want it to. I don't want to do. Slight quantize and then. I could move that strength, but it doesn't quantize so strong. So. objective was to uh, even get some more songs in between here get some walls going uh, let me see if I can add some real quick that's right we need different hi-fi sound There's a certain sound in my head that I hear.
I'd like to tell that I slightly This sounds like... And that's how we get our rules. Told you, like after a while, you get to notice what you're listening. You're like, ah, this doesn't. It's not like it's hitting what I want it to hit. So you gotta make sure that you just re-listen to it.
Last portion. So that's basically my uh, drum line's gonna go with it. Um, I would obviously want to add some maybe like open hi hats, and try to add them in. Um, I'll probably try to have this be for next week, but adding some crashes into it, uh, maybe some different sound effects as well too. And then another thing that helps out is changing up that. Um, MIDI velocity, making it random, and if you need to change some pitching on on that as well, it does help a lot. So that is something that does give you that variety. What we hear in sounds that it goes up and down on that pitching on the hi hat pitch. So that is something that I'll just save this. We'll leave it for next week with it, and go from there with that, and try to add a bass and harmony and melody next week. Other than that, I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you're here tonight watching, appreciate you guys. If you're rewatching this, I really thank you. And I do ask if you can please, please subscribe and follow. Make sure you get that notification when we go live. This Thursday, we got Thursday tunes coming up. Um, other than that, follow us on social media as well. Feel free to send us a message. If you got music you want us to chuck out, if you do music, if you're instrumentalist if you're a singer songwriter you know we work with all sorts of people and we're happy to help as well so please please follow us and notify yourself when we go on live check us out with um, manifesting road to studios so you can find us on social media other than that i hope you guys have a blessed night and have a great day tomorrow so for that i'm victor and this is from manifesting road to studios and we are out